All right. Good afternoon, everyone. So, my house is a little messy. I'm, <laughs> I'll show y'all. I'm going to go through here. Look, I do ship on the side. I'm going to go through here and show y'all my boo-boo. All right, so I'm in the garage now, all right? See, I was going to, well, I did. I went into the attic. Uh, I measured everything from the house. Uh, anyways, I had all the measurements done and everything, right? Well, I go into the attic. I didn't step through, but shit broke. <laughs> shit broke through here. Now, we're going to have to um, do it another way. I need to buy that uh, that stick thing. So what we're gonna do, my dogs, is we're gonna run the cable, the ethernet cable, through the outside. So let me take you inside and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's my um, area. So this hole was already there uh, from a previous coaxial cable install. Um, I'm not really sure how long ago it's it's been, but anyway, we took out the coaxial cables right there, and we're trying to put Ethernet uh, through there through the same hole, and uh, go through the other side. See, currently we have this hole, which um, currently powers our internet now. But we're installing a second one. See, this one is sealed from the outside, so we can't really mess with it. This one isn't sealed. So it'll be easier just to put the Ethernet cable through there and uh, run the, the Ethernet all across the outside. Along the wall here. Along this side, I got a little birdies living here, and um, gotta watch where I step. Got these, these dogs. I say I'm doing it, but in reality, Hi. <laughs> my wife is doing everything. So looks like she made the the hole bigger on this side, but will it fit? Okay, so she says that it fits, so there it is right there. A lot of projects that I'm doing. If you go over here, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. I got to clean all this shit up. Um, I basically let this grow because I had some, I was starting some seedlings. You really can't see it now, but I had started some seedlings. So I was like, well, stuff is growing. Let me see what it is. But... I don't know what happened to the ceilings, and uh, it turned out that it was just uh, weeds. Uh, we have a lot of squirrels around here, so they like to just um, do dumb shit and plant acorns. So we have a lot of repairs we got to do. We had a little fire, so some of these kind of melted. But I got to install a gutter. Not a gutter, a downspout. So I have the starting position of where the downspout will be, but I have to clear all this out first. And then eventually I want to clean all this up. I put this to kill the grass, but it moved away or whatever. So it's going to, I'm just going to do something different here. Um, and these were my raised beds. So I have four raised beds that I originally planted. On uh, on in this one right here, we had grown um, some heirloom carrots, potatoes, turnips, beets, and some sort of squash. Um, and it was beautiful, right? The squashes were growing very, very nicely. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, man. The squirrels ate them. <coughs> and this other one, I had tomatoes growing. Go there. 
So I had tomatoes growing here, uh, but we got some sort of bug or some shit. Um, they're called some shit cutters. Um, so I'm just going to use this as um, composting, composting, ugh, can't talk, a composting bin. So all this shit that I have here, I've been trimming it down and just adding it to the bin. Um, and it looks messier than it originally was simply because of the winds or whatnot. This one was the first bed that I started. So I hate it when she comes out here because she, she likes to jump the fence. Truffle. Say hello. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I still got some. Uh, oh, here comes the other one. I still got some uh, green onions growing, and these green onions are from the store. Um, I bought one, and it was maybe like the size of my finger, right? And it still had roots on the end. I planted it, and look, all this grew. I have some dandelions growing. Then they're dandelions, whatever they are. Now, I've been reading up a lot on, um, on what to do with all the weeds, and you're supposed to save them. Make like um, a tea of some sort. And if you see over here, I've got all these trees in the back. All these trees, they're um, pecan trees. Um, so we just, I got a lot of work to do. Um, I've been in school been doing work 10 hour shifts so i haven't really had time but now that um basically the um frost is over and uh spring is about to start or i mean i don't know it, i'm just going by dates because it's really it's really hard way to measure houston um seasons but um come on let's go pigs uh, it's, it's hard to measure Houston seasons, but, um, apparently we have, uh, two summer seasons, season, uh, summer season one, which is, uh, getting hotter summer season two, where the temperature is dropping. Um, and that's in the middle of the year and then it cools down. So we have cool, cold ish, and then summer season one, summer season two. So we really don't have a spring. But our cold months, um, that's when we may or may not get frost. Uh, so it really depends on the year. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I plan to do. Man. It's, it's a lot of cleanup, a lot of stuff I have to do. Especially because these dogs, they love to destroy stuff. <laughs> There's a guy picking, picking pecans, picking them up. I don't know what the hell he's doing on the other side of the fence. But uh, these two girls are standing watch but um that's just my little i guess months work of, of homework that i uh that i have uh check that out so i have this motorcycle that burnt down we used to have a big building right here a big shed and that burned down so you see where that new wood is all of that burnt down but i have this bike so let me get uh closer oh well you know before i get over there let me tell you about my grass so you know a lot of my grass also burnt up so what i did was um my lawnmower burnt, burnt up so i bought some seeds uh i want to say it was um amaranth but i'm not i'm not sure i'll, I'll have to check so basically it's this uh greens right here that are good for dogs um, and different kinds of animals. They uh, they typically eat them, um, you know, just to help digestion. But the beauty about it is that you see how tall that is. That's as tall as it grows. So I'm not going to have a grass cutting problem anymore. Um, hopefully, well, let me show you this bike. So the bike is completely destroyed, right? But because I'm doing gardening, I wanted to start um, using this as more of a um, 
kind of like a little gardening gardening uh, masterpiece if you will uh, so what I plan to do is um, everything that is uh, rusted basically you know sand it down paint it black <coughs> all the metal parts just chrome it out just you know spray paint it with um, that chrome stuff and then um, just put some soil in here and just use it as just one huge uh, plant. Um, also if you see there's one in the corner I highly recommend these lights uh, they're solar uh, powered um, you just drill them and uh, the dogs basically have a nice light up path that they can use and then that's that's about it um here's the uh tree that burnt up but um yeah let me know uh, i'm definitely looking for pointers on that uh that motorcycle uh what so let me know i'm gonna get back to work